piped off. So I'm back home, finally. Uh, I'm sorry it took so long to make another video. Been really, really busy. New job, new place, with the move and everything else. Anyways, I'm gonna stop making excuses. We're gonna be bringing more videos, more content to you guys. Uh, I've been seeing that I'm getting a lot of views on our new videos. Um, Taylor's behind the camera now. She's gonna be making videos with me very soon. Uh, she's been caught up with the baby and everything else. So again, we're gonna be making videos soon, so stay tuned. But today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making a video on flat caps. But first, I'm gonna get myself a nice cold beverage. So, today I'm going to be doing a review on flat caps. I've been wanting to do this review for a really long time now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started. So, I'm going to start with the newsboy type flat cap. So, now this is called an 8 panel flat cap. Um, these were really like the first ones that were made because they were so easy to make. Um, you know, it, it wasn't very hard to make. And you can notice that this one's very stiff. So I'm going to put it on for you guys. So as you can see, this is more of the vintage type flat cap, so before the 1920s such. Um, eight panel flat cap. I really like these hats because it does give you that really nice vintage look. Um, the only thing is that back then they weren't as stiff, they weren't as, you know, tight. Um, they used to be a lot looser on one end, you'll see they were kind of flopping down on the sides and that's because they were using old materials from their old clothing. Um, and that's how they used to make flat caps, right? Um, but this is basically one of the older um, types of flat caps. So this here, this is my favorite flat cap. Uh, it's a five panel flat cap. These flat caps I find are more modern slash old school. Like it's, you still have that vintage look, but it's also a little bit modern as well. Uh, I see a lot of gentlemen nowadays wearing these types. You don't see as many wearing the uh, eight panel flat caps. So basically these flat caps here, like I said, uh, most used I find, uh, they're very fashionable. Uh, they give you the vintage look and this one here especially is made for the winter because there's an extra layer in it. So it, it, this is, it's really warm on the head in the winter and I still wear it in the summer because it's still not that bad. So it's kind of a happy medium. So now I'm gonna show you Another five panel flat cap, but this one is more of a light material. As you can see, it's very thin material. This one's very thin material, um, and this one's a little thicker, as you can see. Don't mind my hair. I usually have my hair done under my hats, but like I said, very busy. Just managed to fit this video in as well. So anyways, um, this is my son's flat caps. As you've seen him in his other videos, he's got probably even more than I have. So this flat cap here, uh, again, is uh, almost more like mine, where it's for the winter. Um, very good for spring as well. Um, still, you can still wear it in the summer, but it might be a bit hot. But uh, yeah, all year round, really good hat, and it looks really cute on babies. If you hadn't seen my other videos, check it out. And again, yeah, I'll probably have a video of my son later on in this video. So again, like I said, my son wears these very often. He's also got a fedora he likes to wear too. Um, well, he likes to wear We like him to wear It's pretty cute. So anyways, that's his hat. He's got another one here, lighter, more for summer. Um, you know, it, it's thinner material. This one has an inner, this one doesn't. So good hats for summer and winter, different types for the seasons. And uh, this one's a real winter one. Uh, the, the inside is almost like a winter jacket. And it's also got the ear protection on it as well. It's very soft, very nice. And you can also fold it in and just put it on your head. So you don't have to use that either way. It's a really nice hat as well. And it's the same actually material and layout as my son's winter flat cap. So it's a really nice pattern. It's a five panel flat cap. So I've showed some of you guys some of the different flat caps. There's also another flat cap which is called a duckbill flat cap. Um, I don't own one myself because it's not so much my style, but my father really likes those ones. So uh, again, it's all preference. Uh, the duckbill 
is so. You'll see it a lot nowadays. That's more of a modern flat cap, I like to say. So duck bill is basically the modern flat cap. The five panel, uh, our basic flat cap to me is like the midway. And then these ones here are the, uh, I'd say the, the most old school you can get, right? I think the flat cap is very nice for winter, uh, very nice for the spring. All around, all year round, you can wear a flat cap. Um, a lot of people like to wear uh, those straw hats in the summer, some old school guys, and I like those too. But to me, the flat cap, you can't go wrong. And another thing about the flat cap is if you're wearing a polo shirt, if you're wearing a dress shirt, you know, there isn't really any other hat other than a fedora or a bowler hat those old school hats that you can wear with fancy clothing. Like you couldn't wear a ball cap with a dress shirt or a polo shirt. Well, you could with a polo shirt, but anyways, with a dress shirt, a ball cap would kind of look funny. Uh, a flat cap, I'm wearing a dress shirt now with the flat cap, and honestly, it's still fancy, but it gives you that vintage look. So to me, I think it's an awesome look. Uh, it's a good hat. You know, if you don't feel like doing your hair one morning and you're still, you still want to get dressed nice, the flat cap is a great add-on to your outfit for the day. Um, like I said, as for me, I'm a really old school guy, I like the old school look, so to me the flat cap is awesome for that. And flat caps used to actually be uh, the working class um, hat, so a lot of people who were hard workers, labor workers, they wore flat caps while they worked. And um, again, like, it's, it goes with anything, and it did that then as well. Um, a lot of other hats that people wore back in the day, like I said, the bowler hat, the fedora hat, and all those types of hats, but those again were mostly for the richer type, the more wealthy type. Uh, the working men, the lower class citizens wore the flat caps. And it's funny because nowadays the flat cap is a very fashionable hat and a lot of people love them. So uh, a lot of pipe smokers wear the flat cap, it kind of goes hand in hand. Uh, but yeah, um, that's basically my little uh, review on flat caps and what I think about them. Uh, I'm going to bring you guys out for a pipe and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Hi once again. So uh, I hope you like that uh, flat cap review. Um, again, sorry that uh, we haven't made a video in a while. It's been extremely busy lately, but uh, now I'm on the four on, because I was on 10 hour shifts, only doing four on, two off. My two days off were super busy. So, now we're doing four on, four off, which is great. So now I've got lots of time to make a video. I'm gonna dedicate a certain day to making a video and posting it and editing it and all that. So uh, today's very rainy day. Not very nice out. Again, very thankful to be home. Feels great, honestly. Stress level's been lowered by a million. Um, you know, COVID seems to be getting better, which is good with the vaccinations and everything. I didn't get my vaccine yet, but I'll probably end up getting it soon. But anyways, um, I don't even think, I can't remember the last time I smoked a bowl. I mean, two weeks ago. I used to smoke a bowl every day. Yum. Oh, it's been too long. Smoking my great grandfather's pipe again. Love it. This will follow up on the uh, the flat cap review. I'm no expert on flat caps, obviously, but in my opinion, these hats are the best for a vintage man. You know what I mean? And when I say vintage man, I'm saying a guy who's very old-fashioned, a guy who likes old-fashioned stuff, old-fashioned items. 
uh, the, the old-fashioned look, you know what I mean? Um, actually, booking for a tattoo, I'm getting a 1920s themed sleeve. Can't wait to show you guys. It's gonna look sharp. There's gonna be a pipe in it, obviously. There's gonna be a uh, Model T Ford. Um, there's gonna be a uh, handlebar mustache, like an old vintage man. Uh, you know, all the old stuff that I like to review is gonna be my tattoo. So I'm pretty excited about it. My, my son's name as well. So, comment down below on what else you guys think I should review, uh, what kind of videos I should make, um, what, because uh, I know I'm getting lots of new subscribers even though we haven't made a new video and thanks a lot to you, all you new subscribers, I really appreciate it. Um, you know, again, this video wasn't as good as some of the ones I've made before. But I'm going to put lots of effort into making uh, new videos coming soon. Uh, that short film that I spoke about in other videos, the, uh, the sort of a 1920s short film, um, is coming soon. Um, again, now that I have more time off, I have the time to go do it. We're working on the plan, on what we're going to film on, um, basically the blueprint of the whole thing. So, we're currently working on that, so it's going to look nice, it's going to be good. I actually haven't been very updated on the uh, YouTube uh, pipe world. Anyways guys, thanks again for watching Pipe Talk. Uh, we got lots of new content coming soon. Uh, I really apologize for not being as frequent with videos. I know it's been almost like, I think it's been over a month since my last video. But if you guys are new to this channel, please check out um, lots of, all of my other videos. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Um, Again, if you're very into antiques, vintage items, uh, the 1920s especially, and some World War stuff, a little bit of fitness, check it out. It's, it's, there's got, there's lots, there's all sorts. Um, again, I'm always up for ideas, um, so please comment down below. Um, I really appreciate it. And if you like this content, if you like this kind of stuff, Please subscribe, you won't be disappointed. Uh, we're very frequent with our videos most of the time. Uh, so yeah, uh, subscribe, hit the little bell, and uh, we'll be seeing you again soon. Cheers, have a good day guys.